Okay, we are going to solve crazy problem 1.5 question number 4. So this is the differential equation that is given in the problem. So y prime is equal to 2y minus 4x with y is a function of x. And and let's try to solve this using separation of variables. So let's rewrite this as dy over dx is equal to 2y minus 4x. So our goal here is to group all the y to the left hand side and all the x to the right hand side. So what can we do here? Maybe we can multiply both sides by dx. So we'll have dy is equal to 2y minus 4x dx. And then we will get dy is equal to 2y. Let's distribute this. So we'll have 2y dx and then minus 4x dx. But then if we want to separate this x with another x. So but we have y and dx here. So if we move this to the left hand side, we still have x. And there is no way we can separate y from x in the left hand side and right hand side okay so we need another approach so that another approach is using integrating factors so let's recall the standard form of differential equation that we can solve using integrating factors which is y prime and plus some function ax multiplied by y and that equal to another function dx okay and from here we can get the integrating factors which we call alpha and alpha is e to the integral of ax with respect to x okay now let's clean this up so if we see here this is not in the standard form so let's manipulate this a bit so i can move this 2y to the left hand side I will have y prime minus 2y is equal to minus 4x. And then this is in the standard form. So this is our ax here. And this is our dx. So we can calculate the integrating factors of this function which is alpha is equal to e to the integral of ax and ix is minus 2 and then with respect to x but then that will be e to the minus 2x right now what we need to do is to multiply this differential equation using this integrating factors so we'll multiply both sides by alpha, but our alpha is e to the minus 2x. e to the minus 2x. Okay, now let's multiply this out. So if we multiply this out, okay, I, re I will rewrite y prime as dy dx. And this is multiplied by e to the minus 2x. So let's just write it here. e to the minus 2x. And then minus 2 multiplied by this one. So we'll have e to the minus 2x. And this still have y. And then on the right hand side, we will have 4x e to the minus 2x. Okay, great. Now what can we do from here? Let's take a look at this one first. This is u. And if u is e to the minus 2x, then u prime is minus 2 e to the minus 2x. Right? So because u prime is this function, and this function is exactly this one, right? So we can label this 
as u prime. Okay. Now let's name this y as v. Okay. Now our v is y. And then is our v is y, and we take the derivative of v with respect to x. We will get that v prime is equal to dy dx. And dy dx is exactly this part here. And so we can call this as v prime, right? Okay. Now this part, u v prime plus u prime v is the same as a multiplication of function and then we take the derivative of it or uv prime okay now let's clean this up and let's continue okay now because this is equal to uv prime we can rewrite this as sometimes some function here prime and our u is e to the minus 2x so I will have e to the minus 2x and then our v is y. So this function here, we take derivative of it, which is prime or to make it more comfortable, let's replace this prime by using d over dx. So d over dx of this function and then on the right hand side, we will have for x e to the minus 2 okay now let's clean this up and this can be solved using integrating both sides okay now so far we simplified this differential equation into this one it looks more complicated but actually this is easier to solve so we can integrate both sides here so if we integrate both sides on the left hand side we can get e to the minus 2x multiplied by y and then this one minus 4 is a constant so I can take it out here and then we integrate that x e to the minus 2x with respect to x. Okay now I don't want the constant here so I move this constant here to the left hand side so I will have minus 1 quarter e to the minus 2x multiplied by y and that will equal to integral of x e to the minus 2x dx okay great now let's clean this up and solve the right hand side for this integral okay now let's take a look at the right hand side here we have a polynomial function multiplied by exponential function and this is a standard form for using integration by parts. So let's name this as our u and let's name this as our dv and let's rewrite the formula first. So we'll have integral, not integral, that integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. Okay, and now we need each part here. So let's name this u. Let's take this u. u is equal to x, and that implies that du is equal to dx. And then our dv is this one. So we'll have dv is equal to what is it? e to the minus 2x dx and if we integrate both sides we will get v is equal to minus 1 half e to the minus 2x okay so we get all the parts and let's plug in the parts into this formula okay so now our u is x so let's replace that u with x and our v is minus 1 half e to the minus 2x so let's rewrite that here minus 1 half and then e to the minus 2x and then minus integral of our v so this is a constant minus 1 half so I can take it 
out in the front so I will have plus one half and then I will get e to the minus 2x and then du is equal to dx so let's just replace that with dx so this is on the right hand side on and on the left hand side we still have minus 1 4 e to the minus 2x of y and that will equal to that function here okay now let's copy this again minus 1 4 e to the minus 2x multiplied by y and then this is still minus 1 half x e to the minus 2x and then plus this integral here this integral is minus 1 half e to the minus 2x and that multiplied by 1 half we will get minus 1 4 e to the minus 2x and then remember from here we will get integration constant so we will get some c1 here okay okay now so far we get this as a solution but the solution can still can be simplified okay so far we got this one here but I want this solution in the form of y is equal to something so the first thing that we can do here is to multiply both sides by minus 4 and then e to the 2x okay so now minus 1 quarter multiplied by minus 4 is 1 and then e to the minus 2x multiplied by e to the 2x is 1 so on the left hand side we only have y okay and then on the right hand side minus 1 half multiplied by this one is becoming positive so i will have 2 2 here and then we still have x and then e to the minus 2x will cancel out with this one so we only have 2x from this term and then for this term minus 1 quarter multiplied by minus 4 it's become plus 1 and then e to the minus 2x multiplied by that one becomes one so we will have one from this term and then for c1 we can just plug minus for c1 e to the 2x okay and now here yeah, we can rename this for c1 so a constant multiplied by constant yeah we can replace that with some const another constant so let's name another constant as c2 but maybe it includes our sign so minus 4 and c1 becomes plus c2 okay so now our y our y becomes 2x plus c2 and then e to the 2x plus 1 and this is the general solution of our differential equation so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching bye bye